guys welcome to my channel so today I'll be telling you guys on how I got my job at Coney Island I worked at Luna Park Luna Park is an amusement park at Coney Island it's in Brooklyn and it's the bomb.com alright so I'm gonna tell you guys how I got my job there I went through several interviews and I'm going to explain to you guys the best way I can I might not be explaining it the right way and I might be stuttering here and there I'm sorry I have mom brain right now my daughter is about to wake up and I have a limited amount of time to tell you guys so the fuck with my phone I'm getting fucking messages always when I'm fucking recording always 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 when I'm fucking filming anyways so when I applied for Coney Island, I saw that they were hiring on their website. On their website, every summer they hire. It, they usually start hiring around March or fe like February through to March. And then, you know, you have to go through interviews and they test you on, you know, certain stuff like that. And I'll get into that right now. So when I went to apply, I went to this building. It's a, I think the place is MetLife. Like it's it's um i forgot what it's called but it's met something it's in coney um it's by the by um it's like this stadium there i forgot what it's called guys i haven't been in new york for like almost two years already well i have been there but i haven't been like to coney because i've been married for my husband for almost two years um all right so um that place we went there well i went there and i had to dress like a uh, fucking like a uh, like I was some fucking secretary or some shit like that, right? So I wore my the best clothes that I had. I don't dress like you know like with slags and like you know like a suit type of stuff. I don't do that. So I didn't really have any you know any clothes. So I went and asked my mom, "Mommy, can you please lend me stuff?" Because my mom is like skinny, so she fits into she my my mom fits in my clothes. I fit in her clothes. So um, I told her, "Can you know?" Can you fix like the slacks? She fixed them, and I did the most ghetto ass shit. I wore um like leggings under this so they can fill up because I have no ass, and like those slacks like would fall on me. <laughs> so um I would do that. Then I wore my sneakers, and I walked all the way to fucking Fordham where the D train was. I took it all the way to Brooklyn, and that was like alone like two hours or something like that. And um that it was like a, it was pretty pretty long. It was really cold, and I had went with like some like it's not a jacket. It's like it's like those it's like those like fancy jackets that you know you want to look like professional and stuff it has like buttons and stuff but it's not going to keep you warm like i had to wear like a sweater under a sweater and then the shirt and what i did was i wore a white shirt under and then another white shirt like that was like cut but um one of them had like long sleeves and then i wore the blazer and then i wore the slacks and leggings under there because it was dumb cold and it was raining too and after that when i got over there i wore um flats but i took them off over there and i had my bag and i did the most ghetto ass shit i took the socks off and everything and i walked all the way over there so anyways after you know you guys know that shit um how fucking the ghetto i was that day oh my god i can't believe i did that like i don't care honestly i got the fucking job so i'll tell you guys when i went i was fucking nervous I had to fill out, like, the, when we went there, we got an application for every, like, okay, so Coney Island is big. There's Luna Park, there's Scream Zone, there's, like, the other areas, like, the food industry places, I don't know what you call those places, and, um, like, bars, and I don't know, some, like, a bunch of places that you can get hired from. So, I obviously wanted to work at Luna Park because Luna Park's fucking awesome, right? So, I went. And I got the application. They gave me the application. They told me, fill it out. Do all of this. Blah, 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 blah. And they, I sat on a chair. And I had to wait for my name to be called. To be interviewed. And, you know, et cetera, et cetera, right? So I filled it out. You know, put on my info. My name is Casuelo. Blah, blah, blah. I live here. I live there. Blah, blah, blah. And um, so I got called after that. And it was like these tables, right? So, okay. So how can I explain it? All right. So I went. And they called me. I gave them my application. After that, they called me, and I sat in front of this lady. She, I was not the only one there. There was another guy next to me. So we were getting tested with like, with like, like cards or something, something about cards. I know. And it was like colors, and then it was like, what would you do in certain situations? What are your skills? Like blah blah blah, this and that. And um, you know, I answered them the best I can. I I didn't know, you know, if I'm, if I'm gonna get hired or not. I just wanted to be fucking honest. And um. 
I after that I went into the next round, which was the fucking um like it was like the main tables where you you would I think they were like the bosses or something like that, and um, I got interviewed by them, and then he asked me you know so and so questions. I was sitting next to all of these people where like um they would tell me oh like what job are you gonna work for like what job are you applying for and I'm like oh Luna Park um uh, and they were like where like on rides on tickets and I'm like on rides. And there was people for games. There was pe people for tickets. There was people for like the people that clean the bathrooms and stuff like that. And I'm like, you know, whatever, whatever. I, I, I hi guys, how, how you doing, blah, blah. blah. And um, the, the guy that I was sitting next to, he got hired. And it, I was like, when I saw him on the train that day, I was like, hey, you got the job, yay! Like when it was the first day. And I also saw him at the orientation, but let me not go too far. So. I went and I answered it and I was just like good luck like I he he basically just told me why I want to work there um like what would I do like I said in certain situations and um basically like my personality and he wanted to know about me and I'm like well I'm a bubbly person I love people I love kids I'm very fun and I'm outgoing and you know all of this stuff because I, I am like when I worked at Coney Island I never ever had an issue everybody loved me when i say that everybody loves me at coney island everybody loved me i never had an issue everybody always like liked my vibes like my personality i was like that little chiquita like everybody would be like tiny look at tiny and oh she's so pretty and, blah, 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 and this and that and obviously there was like other girls that were fucking hot like there was this puerto rican girl that damn that girl she was hot and she was so pretty i'm like no lesbian shit but i'm being honest because i'm not about to gas myself up either but i knew like you know it was cool but anyways before you know going into the experience of my job right like, i'm trying to make this fast because my videos always are fucking long so um i all right so i got a call back and they told me that i had to go to this orientation that's the next step guys so the orientation was with everybody that you know got hired basically but but you got to take a test all right so um they gave me like like a big like we had to watch like a video and like stuff on what not to do what to do and people came in from different areas from the rides from the tickets from maintenance basically from all that stuff and i got to meet everybody like even the people that had worked the previous year went there for that orientation and then um um, we I met all those people. I was filling out a bunch of paperwork. We had to, we had taxes I know too that we had to fill out. We had a bunch of paperwork. It was basically a lot of paperwork and like um, videos that you had to watch and um, like stuff that you had to learn and all of that stuff. And then after that, they gave us like this list. Now we had to study about the rides. And then um, the next time we went, right, we took a test on the rides. Like, um, like it was like all right. So it went like this. We went to every specific ride at Luna Park from Mermaid all the way to the end close to Scream Zone. Like it was like you had to know the rides. But it was mostly like I remember taking the test for all the rides on Luna Park side, like the little kid rides. Cause Scream Zone is like big people rides. I'm focused on baby rides. And then um and like most of them are baby rides. Like they're small rides, you know, like I don't know. I'm just saying like they were like baby rides. So, um, all right, so I got tested on all of those things and everybody else, like, every, like, um, uh, people who were in charge of those rides, I guess, they would tell us, like, people who worked, for, like, the previous year, and I met them, and I met this chick, I, I have her on my Facebook, I just forgot her name, um, but, girl, if you're watching me, you know, I remember you giving me good advice on how to pass the test, and I was like, yeah, 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 all right, so, she um so she helped me she was like this and this and this because i was nervous like i didn't know I was gonna, if i was gonna pass the test or not you know so um, we went to each ride the person that knew the ride would test us and tell us well you do this you press this you do you um tell the person to wait here the person cannot stand there when you start the fucking ride and, you know they didn't say it like that but i'm just saying like when you start the ride you have to be like very very cautious of your surroundings or shit is gonna go down and you don't want that shit to go down on your ride because you're gonna get fucking fired so um they told me about all the rides and i was at I, I got the ride well just forwarding to what ride i got i got mermaid mermaid um mermaid cave or mermaid something that's the name of the ride it's in the beginning where for you guys who are from the bronx and you know um well new york in general and you know um luna park 
when you are at the boardwalk and you're about to go through the like through the boardwalk entrance um fucking mermaid cave is like right there like on your so if you're going like all right so if you're going in like this it's on this side so on your left i believe yeah so that's the right that i got and um, i got a, a few other rides but that was like my ride my first ride so um i passed the test i took the you um the tests with a bunch of other people um like we were sitting in chairs we were like seated in chairs we got the paper the pen you had to take the test you got a certain amount of minutes you had to give it in and then we would see who passed it or not so i passed it and i got basically hired hired you know like you were hired but you were not you had to pass the test to get hired hired so then i got hired hired i got my shirt you know i got my you know i think i yeah my shirt my id i had to come and yeah my shirt and my id because i had to go for my for my um uh to take my picture and all of this stuff you had to I think you had to pay for your id i believe i had to pay 20 dollars for my id or yeah, I think I had to pay twenty dollars or something. Something. I know I had to pay for my jacket. Um, it said Luna Park and it was blue. Their words were in orange or something. And then like the shirt I got for free, I believe. I forgot, but I, I'm pretty sure I got it for free. And um, then I got hired and I went to work. The first day, guys, was fucking awesome. Like, um, we went in. Well, I went in and um, to the next to Mermaid Cave the, in the back. Like, um, there's this. Come on, Consuelo. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. I'm like getting nervous. <laughs> I'm remembering like the good times I had. So um, there's like the fucking room for us, like where our lockers are. And um, we got in the morning. Every morning, you would get told what ride you were going to. You know, with who you were going to. Because sometimes you would alternate and um, pick up shifts from you know certain stuff, or you know just changes or anything that you know you had to do. They told you. Um, basically like the team leaders would tell you and um, the team leaders that I that I met while working at Coney Island were fucking awesome I never had a problem they all loved me I never like never had a problem um, creeper stop it so um I I got mermaid cave I got a, a like a they gave me a what is this called like a like a walkie-talkie type thing whatever it's called like a radio and i had to put it in the back of my pants always in the back of my pants or like like right there and then you know got my shirt it had to be tucked in the pants because you gotta look professional and you know whatever happened from here here that's your choice whatever happened from here here fucking luna park's choice so um like you can wear like when you we were going like if you had like most of the people had half shirts i'm pretty sure that was the only shirt that that we got i don't know yeah that was the only shirt so we had like the shirts that were like right there right so under you could wear like black and, or white shirts certain people were black but I, I believe they were told that you couldn't wear it or something i don't remember but i never wore like anything under because you know i i didn't know that you could at first and then after that i got a jacket because it got really really cold um you know in that ride because it was like a water ride like a water like a mini water ride for little babies and um i got fucking cold so i bought the jacket i thought they provided the jacket honestly but they didn't you had to buy it it was like 20 something dollars and i ended up buying it i had told them can you wait for my first check can you just take it out of my check they were like no you have to pay for it and i'm like okay so i brought the money and then I um, paid for my jacket and I got it. And then after that, I would wear something under because you would only be able to see the jacket. Like you can have it um, like clothes and everything. But as long as, you know, you had something that said Luna Park, it was fine. Either the jacket or the shirt. So I always had like a choker like I like I have right now my hair up or sometimes it was like this. But I would have like my crazy ass eyeliner. I hope I find my ID and I am able to put it in this video or I would just put post pictures in this video of when i used to work at Coney island and how i did my makeup and how i looked in my uniform and stuff so my uniform was always funny <laughs> i always wore like chokers and crazy stuff like my makeup was always so crazy and even like our team like our manager or, like our because they were team leaders and they were supervisors so even one of the supervisors he was like this short uh, man 
um i forgot his name but he would always like you're wearing black lipstick oh my goodness consuelo and you know i'm just like yeah i can i can he's like no yeah you can and everybody would just look at me and then after that they got used to it they never said anything i remember once like, it was only the supervisor that told me something about it after that nobody ever told me nothing i wore whatever i wanted anything anything like my crazy makeup my my crazy eyeliner my crazy fucking lipsticks like never got told anything and i think it was because of my bubbly personality like i never gave them like a reason to doubt me to like to to get on my case like i did everything i was told i was always such a good ass like an asset to you know luna park and stuff so um all right guys so i'll tell you also how i got fired from coney island so it's a little you know fucked up the way i got fired like not that from not from their side from my side because i was like a, like you know a fuck face like i was messed up but um i was dating my husband while um i was uh, working at coney island and um i had several like shifts that i didn't make and um like it went like this so my husband randomly would call me and would be like babe oh you want to come down to fort bragg you want to come down to the north carolina i'll pay your amtrak ticket just come baby please and i'm just like all right okay i'm not gonna say no to go see him and um at that time like we were talking so it's like i obviously like wanted to he was my boyfriend but he wasn't like we we didn't meet officially yet yet and then um that time um i went to see him before like a, a couple like a couple of times and then one of those times that i went to see him i was supposed to only stay there for like a week or like two weeks something like that but i don't even think two weeks because i don't even think that i would be allowed to it was like a week or something or like a weekend and um something like that guys i'm having mom brain again like i have this this like i forget a lot of stuff but anyways um so he told me, he told me like on a Friday or like on a Thursday and I didn't work, I think for like two days or three days or something like that. And um, they had called me and they had told me because we had like this app where it would show you your shift. And my shift was like the day that I was going to come back from my ticket because the ticket that he had bought me, it was the next day that I was going to, you know, go to work. So what had happened was I wanted to stay an extra day and I fucked up because i would i wanted to go home like even though i was gonna like go home today right and then tomorrow i was gonna work i wanted to go home like yesterday so i would you know be well rested and be ready for tomorrow tomorrow you know so um things didn't go as planned and um there was a, actually an accident the amtrak that i was supposed to take had like a crash where people died and um like it was going to new york so people freaking died guys like this is not no joke i'm not playing and i had told them right and they said no it's okay we understand because i i had told them I, my boyfriend is in the army and i the only way i can go see him is traveling to north carolina and stuff like that and they they understood but the thing is you know i had missed several days after that you know like one day two days is okay because amtrak was having this thing where you know something about uh tickets weren't available or something like that i forgot but i know like there was no way that i was gonna get from north carolina to new york because of all these things that were happening so um how you call it um i ended up not going home i think for several days like for i think for four more days or something like that that's because i stood like two weeks or something like that and and on four break and um i got fired they basically told me, you know, I'm not making my, my hours, I'm not going to work, and, you know, my job comes first, and that was my fault. Like, I loved working at Coney Island, guys, I really, really did, but I loved my husband so much that I couldn't, like, like, I loved my job, but I loved my husband more, if you guys know what I'm trying to say, like, and, um, I just, I wanted to do everything to see him, and my job came in between it, and I was like, I, I have to see him and then shit went down and I got fired but honestly guys that was my experience working at Coney Island working at Coney Island was the best thing that ever happened to me Luna Park guys if you're 16 through 18 please I suggest you guys to work there um I'm pretty sure you can get hired at, uh till like 25 and 35 I'm not sure the the age limit I know you have to be 16 and um you're licking me are you licking me little girl but yeah, I believe you have to be 16 and stuff like that. Have like a permit work 
thingy and um whatever i got hired it was awesome guys um my experience obviously is not like everybody else um everybody has different experiences um some people might not like working there some people i've met really didn't like working there but i also met somebody who worked there who joined the army and they even said that like that was like a good job and i met him and um out there at coney island i met so many good people there like they were all so freaking awesome to me i never had problems um i enjoyed every day working there the long hours yeah took a toll on my sleep took a toll on me but hey every job does and sometimes you have to work it at it you have to work at it you have to do it you have to you know get this money somehow and that was my way and um, i really really loved working at coney island coney island and if you guys have any questions on how to get hired the process what dates they hire um what should you wear what should you say you know certain things you guys can message me um i'll leave my email down below and my social media and stuff like that and you guys can email me mail me i don't know what the fuck you guys want to do you can do whatever you want and that's pretty much the video for today i sorry sorry i'm having like a mom brain guys i'm just i'm really out of it right now i miss i really miss my husband baby if you're watching my video where you're at right now i miss you and i love you so much and i can't wait to have you home again because me and lily and creeper and our daughter miss you so much so until next time guys i love you all and i really really hope that you guys enjoyed my video and if you didn't i'm sorry but i don't care so i love you guys bye